Charles Dixon coming at you with another video. Listen, um, you know, I'm the type of individual that I go by consistency and your patterns of behavior. And, um, you know, from the title of this video, you know who I'm going to be speaking about and the situation at hand. Uh, shout out to BoxingScene.com. They did two good articles, uh, both coming from Liam Smith, uh, a.k.a. Beefy. Listen, um, I think this is pretty much evident from everybody. Liam Smith is a dumbass. And he is willingly throwing himself to the slaughter. But that's okay because, you know, he's probably going to get the biggest paycheck of his life fighting Canelo. So, you know, if that's the way he wants to roll, he wants to roll. But, you know, moving past the obvious uh, common sense issues that Liam Smith has regarding Canelo and the VADA testing and uh, what have you. The two articles, the first article is basically Liam Smith talking about how he um, will most certainly grant the rematch to Canelo, you know, basically already implying, throwing out there that there is a possibility that we could see these two do this one more time, which I smell... Uh, you know, something that, um, got I forget who, who said it, but somebody said that Canelo's going to carry Liam Smith, make a fight out of it. And you know what? Something about this smells funny from top to bottom, but I'll get into that later on. Let's look at, you know, the whole Vada testing situation. Now in the second, uh, article by boxingscene.com that I will leave the link in the description Liam Smith is talking about how he is quite okay with the fact that Canelo is not doing any testing while he is being subjected to the strict British boxing anti-doping agency testing. Um, you know, I did a video some time back and I talked about how what my theory was about when these two fighters both entered into the VADA testing and then they withdrew, both of them withdrew. And I said to you guys, I thought and I believe that the A side is who got popped. They paid some extra money to Vada. And they actually sat there and paid money to Liam Smith to keep his mouth shut. This confirms it for me. This confirms it for me. This is this confirms it for just me. I'm not talking about anybody else in the LDBC or in the YTBC. To me... I, I, you know, you could say what you want. Maybe I, I'm jumping the gun and, and what have you. He's never tested positive. I am fully convinced the fuckery that comes from Oscar De La Hoya and Canelo Alvarez is real, y'all. They will do anything they can to keep this kid on the top of the game. And because he is the only person they got. And, you know, to Liam Smith... Let me tell you something. You being a, a real sucker, man. You, you being a real sucker and you, you, you playing the UK fans. Because on BoxingZine.com, I'm, I'm looking at some of the comments. You got a lot of uh, British uh, fans who are pulling for you. And you straight treating them like suckers too. You know damn well what's going on. And at the same time, I can't even be surprised because, you know, this is the state that we're in right now in boxing. Over 95% of these dudes are cheating or on something. You got pussified promoters. You got agenda-based filled fan bases who straight up bend over and take it all different type of angles and... They get upset when motherfuckers refute their fighters' rankings when we question what's going on in the game. I'm not going to be no goddamn idiot. I'm not going to sit here and play games with that. I will be streaming this fight. I'm going to watch it because I'm a fight fan. I'm going to watch it because I'm a fan of the sport. I, I've always sat there and said that. But I ain't paying my motherfucking money for this shit. And if they're going to do this shit twice, let's do the math, y'all. After that fraud, Triple G goes and beats the brakes off of Kell Brooks' bloated ass. 
You think you you think you guys gonna see anytime soon a Canelo Alvarez versus Triple G fight? You must be out your damn mind. It's your boy Quest. I'm out.